it's challenging to really analyze Texas society because a lot of the characteristics of this, the society and the values aren't really spoken. And so it takes a long while to talk to people and get a pulse on what the Texan experience is. I just spoke with a man who is from Palestine. He's been here only three months. And when I first started talking to him, I asked him, are you Texan? With the hopes of him saying yes, and with the hopes of him re relaying his public school experience to me. He couldn't give that to me, but what he could give to me was his experience of being in Palestine, sorry, of being in Texas as a Palestinian and as a Muslim. And what he told me is he felt like Texas was the easiest fit for him in the U.S. so far because essentially people didn't care who he was or what he did as long as he didn't invade other people's space and privacy and didn't try and tell other people what to do. And that dynamic seems to be the Texan dynamic where lots of space is given and where no one wants to be told what to do at all. Seems pretty easy to manage, but there's tension points. In any society, there's gonna be tension points. And in any society where there's this preach of tolerance, those tension points are usually gonna be anger, and rage simmering under the surface. In societies that allow conflict and that either encourage conflict or, or just allow for it to happen and realize it's, it's actually a healthy thing, there's less anger simmering and there's more expression of anger. And so I think if you spend enough time in Texas, what you'll begin to see is that there's a lot of conflict avoidance here, and thus a lot of held anger and rage that really doesn't come out till it, you hit a breaking point. And that's where all the craziness unfolds.